let the, to, to animate them. They were, I mean, the, the animation process was m was much faster with the the, the story sequences, um, with the the real world um, uh, animation. I think it was something like four seconds a week, um, and with the story world, it was much faster because that we spent the time in, in creating the rigs, uh, and once you have them, then it's a matter of just moving points around. So it's, it's a lot, uh, it's a lot faster. It was a lot slower to composite those sequences. They were really, really involved in terms of the, the, the compositing for those ones. If we did, it, if we made a, a retake with a real world sequence, we'd get it back the next day. With the story world, it would take at least a week, you know, for the, the, the slightest little mistake, you know, because uh, it was a, there were such heavy sequences. So I couldn't tell you the exact. Um, um, seconds per week for 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 the the, the story world, but uh, I, I can tell you it was much faster than the than the hand drawn real world stuff. They would have been in the storyboard cast, um, yeah. Um, but things like you know the the the, the, the comedy and film and walk and all of that were were added by the the animators. Before Osama, you know, uh, was 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 uh, created, and I mean, the, the whole the whole idea of Bacha Posh, which, you know, is is uh, is is uh, something that is common enough in in, uh, in Afghanistan, where you have young girls dressing as as boys, um, it, you know, even before the Taliban and 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 after the Taliban, it, it, it's still a, a phenomenon whereby if you have a, a family of girls, for instance. Uh, you can be looked down on or, or looked or pitied, you know. So, so lots of times people will dress a um, a girl as a boy uh, to increase the status of their their family, I guess. Um, also, there's a little bit of superstition involved, you know. If they believe that if you if you dress one of your girls as a boy, then you're more likely to have uh, to have a boy, you know. Um, after that, so so the, again, it's 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 not a simple a simple enough thing in terms of. I looked at it like, okay, there are lots of heist movies, you know, kind of, you know, so the same with this kind of, you know, and I mean, this film will always get called like another Mulan or something like that, you know, kind of, but, but that's not, that's not what makes, you know, any, you know, any film uh, stand out from, from each other. It's not, it's not that, that a device like that. It's, it's, it's the character and, and what makes the character unique. I just wondered if you could talk a little more about how you got involved with doing the music. Um, I guess, uh, so Jeff and I, I mean, sometimes we work apart, um, sometimes we work together. Uh, on animated films, we like to work together because it's, um, the music has a, usually a lot of, a uh, lot of notes, a lot of work to do in animation, and rather than having a big crew of kind of um, guys, like sub-writers, we like to try and write everything ourselves and keep the standards really high. Um, so animation is something that we've we've done in the last few years um, and uh, together. And so, um, yeah, I, I, I guess Nora had seen uh, some some of our work and, and um, was familiar that with the way that we're able to work with non-Western instruments. And I think that was something that Nora had a concept of right from the beginning. So I think that's that's how we got involved. And and the nice thing about composing for animated films is you get involved very early. For live action, you know, you often come in just as they're getting close to the fine cut in the edit, and so you might only have eight weeks or six weeks or something like that that you're actually working on it. But for animation, you know, we we actually worked on a small sequence in the film, um, a, easily a year. Yeah, a year before we recorded, yeah. so we were, you know, already in the mode of working on the film for a year. So that just na naturally makes, you know, 
it's pretty simple with writing music. The number of hours you spend doing it, the more you spend, the better it is. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, that is kind of the equation. Um, and so, yeah, we're having that long stretch of, of, a, of really a year of having it in our heads and, you know, the last four months were when we were really intense on it, but, yeah, it's something that we, you know, we, we love this film and put a lot into it and, and, and so it was so great to have that time to be able to, you know, honor the story and be able to help tell the story. All right. Okay. Well, we're gonna we'll take one more, and then I think they need to. Oh, okay. They need that's to clean. No, we can take your steering, oh, okay. and then oh. I think uh, if that's if that's it, we'll, we'll work. Yeah, with on. the with the changing demographics and people coming across borders from various cultures, do you see sort of like sequences of this movie from other people telling their stories that might be put into animation? Can you see that again? So, there are a lot of changing demographics with people coming across the borders from the Middle East and various countries. Do you see other people coming forward and maybe having their stories animated in similar fashion as this one? Oh, I hope so, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, I think, um, you know, we, we need to, to, to hear and see more, more stories um, like The Breadwinner, you know, or, or people's personal stories and hearing stories from different parts of the world. I mean, it would be amazing to, to see that, you know. Thanks everybody for coming, we really appreciate it.